my name is uh, Rigor Ramirez. I'm an instructor at UBC, a job corps instructor. It's a uh, free apprenticeship program here at Weaver Basin Job Corps Center in Ogden, Utah. Okay. Uh, my course title will be Interior Systems, and the lesson title that I'm going to be teaching you guys will be on Metal Stats Framing. Okay. My objective uh, for this lesson, uh, after this lesson, the students will be able to frame a metal stud wall, recognizing different materials used, be able to cut and fit metal studs within 1 16th of an inch accuracy, and fasten them together, metal studs, in a safe and productive manner, using uh, the correct pen, power tools, and also set uh, the properly uh, fastener. Okay? Time, it'll take us probably about 15 minutes or so. We don't want to go into too long. Um, the equipment that we need, okay? Very important, we kind of like need to go over the the equipment that we need for this lesson. Uh, we need a measuring tape, okay, kind of like what we have here. Okay, we have a, a framing hatchet. We will need the framing hatchet, okay. Then we will need our C-type uh, clamps. We need our clamps to be able to secure the stud. And fine point marker. Here's our fine point marker, kind of like a Sharpie. Uh, cordless screwdriver. This is our cordless screwdriver. This is what we're going to be using to secure the, uh, the studs and fasten them. Three and five eighths, a 20 gauge track. This is our track, okay? And then we have also the stud. So there's a difference, and I'm going to go a little bit more uh, into detail, okay? The materials that we need. Uh, we have our self drilling screws, 7 16. These would be our screws that we need to use for this uh, um, for this lesson, for this project. And a, a level, we call this a torpedo level, it's a small level, which for this kind of miniature wall, this will do the job. We really don't need a, a big level, that's all we need for right now, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demonstrate, first of all, I'm gonna demonstrate the materials that we need to use for this project. And there's a difference, okay? This one, it's called a track. It's a three and five uh, metal stud track. Um, it's it's three and five eighths on the back side, and, and then we have a flange of about an inch and a quarter. And this is our track. This is our guide, okay? And then we have our metal studs. They have already been pre-cut. And how do we distinguish the piece of track from the stud? Okay? Yeah. The little hole? The hole. Um, the stud will always have a hole in it, okay? So this, there's a, and, and I'm gonna show you why it needs to have a hole. Very important, okay? So we already know we have our, our track, and then we have our stud, okay? Next, next thing we're gonna do here, uh, we already have the pieces pre-cut, and I'm, now I'm gonna show you how to do a miniature wall. It's only going to be 30 inches long, and it's going to be uh, um, about two foot high because we already pre-cut pre our studs. Before we move into more of the studs, I wanted to show you something here. Some of the typical cuts we use in the metal stud industry. These are our ears, and you know, I, I label them, and, and you will see eventually how they're being used. Okay, so there's one uh, cut, ears. We have our shoe. And this is what we call a shoe in the metal stud industry. Uh, tongue. This is what, you know, what we have a, a tongue. Right here, this will be our tongue. Okay. And then what we have here, it's a splice. Okay. Um, a splice. And I should have another piece that, that was light in. Okay, but I'll, I'll show you how that was used. Okay, so I'm gonna start now, right now our framing process. We have a piece of track, and all we have to do, normally you will see uh, two lines snapped on the, on the bottom of the floor. If we were framing this, let's say on, on a, a bedroom in your house, we would have snapped some lines with chalk line, but in this case, all I'm gonna do is secure it right to the, right to the table that we're using here, and we wanna use the same fastener. Okay, screw them down with our cordless. Do the ends first. 
And then we go, we're gonna go in the middle, put a couple there. And then just to secure it, I'm gonna use a couple little longer screws. Uh, we don't want it to fall in the process of framing it because I'm gonna need some kind of uh, put pressure. So we wanna do a extra. And I'm gonna put three screws in it. You always wanna do the screws on the center. Now, safety-wise, when we're framing metal studs, we always want to wear gloves. Very, very important. So you don't cut. We will always have sharp corners, and this protects your hands from not being from not getting cut. Um, you also need your uh, safety glasses, hard hats. Very important to have them at all times. Okay. Now I have my wall, the bottom track. I have it in place. What I'm going to do. I'm gonna be framing an opening here, such as a window in this case. We can call it a window, or it can be a door. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? So before we do anything, I'm gonna use my measuring tape and then my Sharpie or fine point marker. And I'm going to identify my center of the wall. I have 28 inches, I thought it was 30, we only have a... And then we're gonna make a mark in here to identify our center center of, of, of the wall, okay? Once we have identified that, I have two pieces free cut. These will be our headers for our opening, and they are 14, 14 and a half inches. So what we do, we take half of 14 and a half inches, seven and a quarter inches, and we're gonna go both sides seven and one quarter and then our 14 and a half inches all together so we mark our center to identify it and now i'm ready to install the studs very first thing i want to do is do my end okay we have our stud and then the way to fit it in you you put it on the center let me grab another one that is too that one was cut by hand, okay? You always line up the hole, lined it, so the bottom piece, it's on the bottom side. You don't want it like this. Metal studs have a top and down. Okay, in this case, that's our bottom. You center it, and then you twist it. Okay? Once you have it on the end, all you need to do, and see it's putting pressure already. You have your C-clamp, you clamp it, then you can clamp the other side as well, which we're gonna do, but before we do that, we wanna make sure we have a plumb, and you know, it's level. I can see that, that it's level. Then we have one end. All we need to do is grab our screws, screw it, then we're gonna do it the other side. And then once they've been screwed, they're secure. You can remove your your thick lamps, your uh, level. Okay, now we're gonna do the other end. Same thing, I wanna make sure I, uh, I'm lining up my hole. And I go right to the end, right to the very end of the wall. Those are the very studs, very first studs I wanna do. Clamp them, check your plumbness. Okay, we are plumb, again, we're good. Clamp the other side, grab your cordless, couple screws, and screw it. One side, then we do the other side. Once we have the two sides secured, remove your C-clamps. Now we're gonna install the top track. Okay, again, they've been pre-cut. Okay, all we need to do is twist them a little bit. And then come and do the other side. And we already have pretty much our wall set. It's not secure, but we're gonna secure it right now. Here again, what I'm gonna do, 
with the tape measure. Measure one side. Okay, we have 24 and a quarter inches. Fasten it, clamp it, clamp the other side. Okay, and we can do this at the same time now. Before you do the other side, we want to make sure it's level. So we put our level here on the top. It's a little bit of, we're going to raise it up. And we want to double check, make sure we have the same distance on the bottom. Check the bottom and then we're going to check our top. It's 28 and a quarter inches. Double check. We are good. We'll again check your level, make sure it didn't move. Clamp it. And then you can clamp the other side. Okay, now we have our four sides are ready to go. Okay, we grab our screws. And make sure you put pressure here because it will move. It's a, it's a miniature wall, so we want to make sure we don't uh, push too much in it. Okay? Okay, then we come and do the other side. Okay, now once we have done our end stud, we remove all of our clamps. They've been secured. Take all of the C clamp, our level, and now we want to do the inside. To do the, to do the inside, now to get them in, you, you uh, hold the stud in an angle, you fold it, and then you're going to put it right where we did our marking. Remember at, at where we started? Okay, we have our marking. And this is where we put the hatchet. Hatchet will help us line it up. We have our bottom. And then we're gonna do the other side. Okay, we have our two. So what we'll do, we'll clamp the two sides, the two studs. So we, this is why we need quite a few uh, C clamps because they, they, uh, they're needed, okay? So again, we do, the, we do the two sides, the front. Then we go on the back. Okay. We have all the bottom secure. Now we're gonna do the top. But before we do the top, we need to make sure our, st our um, studs are level. And we wanna check this one as well. We are good, the end is good. But this one is, is okay, we're good. Okay, clamp it. Once you have used your uh, level, you can clamp the studs. This is why C clamps are very important. Okay, you square it up. Okay, we'll use the screws. We'll do the front. Put pressure in it. And then we'll do the back. Okay, same thing here. And we want to double check. We want to make sure whatever we have at the bottom, we want to make sure we have at the top. Okay? Okay, it's good. Here again, we want to make sure we are level. Yes. Clamp. Back. 
set our clamps aside. Now what I'm going to do here, this signifies a door. Okay, it's a little bigger, you know, we're trying to just frame an opening. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it, you know, using your measuring tape and your uh, Sharpie, your fine form marker. Okay, we'll go up and mark one side only. In this case, I'm going to mark 18 inches up. And this one, you notice I'm not doing any kind of marking because we need to level it off. Okay, so free cut stud. It's going to face up. This is where the ears come in place. This is why the headers need to have the ears. We install it. Again, find our marking. Clamp it. And then before we do the other side, we want to make sure that we are level. You can set your level here. And once we're level, we are ready to clamp. Okay, so now we're level across. We have our two sides. And we're going to screw the front. Now remove the signal. Then we want to make sure we also level the opposite way. And what I mean, it's across, and then we're going to clamp. Check this other side as well. Okay, we're good. And then we're going to clamp. I mean, we're going to screw. Now that it's clamped in place, we'll secure it. There's our wall. If we were wanted to do a window, all we really needed to do is mark, make our marking, depending on the size of the window, and then we would fit our header just like this. And that will give you a window. So we have a door, and obviously this needs to be cut off if it was a door. But to do a window, all we need to do is install a bottom header. We wouldn't want to go into that, but I just wanted to show you something else. Um, this piece of, uh, this is what we call cold roll runner. And this is why I was telling you that it's important to have the holes in place. On a structure wall, or some walls that don't have drywall on both sides, we want to lighten up the holes for this reason. This goes here, and that secures. This is why metal studs have holes, not only for this reason, but we also to run uh, plumbing to run electrical. That's that's what it used to run all the. Uh, this is why the metal studs have uh, holes in it. Okay. Now that we have a wall, we can take this out. Okay. So that has been our our framing. Okay. Now we're gonna get into. Uh, obviously, we framed the opening. We started with the end studs, the two end studs, then our opening our header, and now that we see how the wall is put together, um, the screwdriver, we went all over the, the materials that we needed. Now I'm gonna review with you, you know, what happened in this lesson, okay? So if anybody can tell me the tools, you know, some of the tools that we use, go ahead. Tape measure, seat clamps, pull the screw. Yes. What else? Can anybody else tell me? Uh, hey, measure. Um, we need to use a, like a little level to measure the to make sure it's like you pop the place. Yes. Uh, so wall framing hatchet. Framing hatchet. It's important so we can you know uh, move the studs when we need them. Um, the wall type. Um, remember at, at the beginning, it's important to check the wall type. The stud, this one, is 3 and 5 eighths, like I told you at the, uh, when we started the lesson. Um, now, can someone tell me the difference between a piece of track and a piece of stud? One so has we, a hole and the other one doesn't. 
Which one has the hole? What is called the, the, stud. the stud? So this is a three and five eighth metal stud, and, and, and we can see it. And also the truck is bumpy on the side, and the stud's not. Yeah, excellent. Now, tell me which one. What is this called? The there's two sides. Remember, one is the. Okay, but we have the hard side, hard side, and then what is this called on this? Soft. Soft. Soft side. Okay. Um, and then, what is used to plumb the wall? I mean, what, what kind of tool do we need? A level. A level, right? Yeah. Why do we have to check for, make sure everything is plumbed? So you to see if we need to improve on to see if it's level. Yeah, I mean, when you frame a wall in your in your uh, house, a uh, bedroom, you don't want the wall to be leaning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, this is why we wanted to make sure it's it's nice and plumb. We always want to see all the walls, the buildings. We never want to see a tilted building, right? So we all, that's why it's important to, for the walls to be plumbed as well. Okay. Yes. Um, so I always remember, you know, to inspect, you know, what type. Metal studs, they come on three and five eighths, six inch, eight inch, many different sizes. So that's why we want, it's important to check your wall type, your openings, the size of the opening, and, and um, the, always check your, your fasteners. Make sure that every connection, we have a, a, what is called a screw or a fastener. So any of the connections we make, we want to make sure we always have that screw attached. Otherwise, the wall is going to fall. So any other questions you might have tonight, today, you know? Uh, good? Yeah. Yes. When do we get to start doing that, too? A any time. I mean, we... Yeah, this is off we talk to start it. Should we do it today? No. Tomorrow? It talks to the, this kind of stuff takes like a couple weeks to do. Yeah. But... But this is the basic thing we'll tell you, you know, how to frame a wall. And we, obviously, I wanted to do it as, you know, as simple as possible. And this is why I came up with framing a miniature wall. So I thank you very much for, your, uh, uh, for helping me out with this project. And, and, and it's part of my training as well that I need to do. And thank you for uh, showing interest. And I hope you learned something that will help you, you know, uh, down the future. Okay? Thanks.